November the 24th, 2020. Guys, uh, I've been on the road a couple of days, had to check on some grandkids over this, this holiday weekend. Uh, what I want to talk about in the video, and I'll keep it short, is this is the X-ray flux. It's called the dynamic plot, and it shows solar activity, and it will show anywhere from a A, B, C, or M to an X-class flare. And if the screen is blinking, excuse that, guys, but what we've had in uh, just since the 24th is two of the stronger flares that we've seen, and they're in the C-class now. Of course, they're not M players, and they're certainly not X players, but we are, it's indicators that we're getting back into a stronger solar cycle, and that uh, we're going to have to pay attention to the geo-effective uh, events on the sun that affect our Earth, and uh, we're, these are the type of events that do that. Now, one of the flares were uh, pretty spectacular. It ionized the upper atmosphere of our planet over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, uh, ham radio operators and uh, other marine operators, aircraft operations, uh, rec they saw that uh, it hit it and uh, they had, you had some outages because of it. But what it looked like was this, and I'll show you space weather. Now, all of these links are on our website at bpbreakwatch.com. Now, these are current images from of our sun from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. It's a satellite in space that gives us Earth-facing perspectives of events. And this is the sunspot that I said in the last video a few days ago that were, was going to be turning Earth-facing. Now, once we see them come around the corner, as you, whatever you want to call it, guys, you've got about two weeks while that spot's on this side of the sun. And what you saw in was the flare, and that flare leaked, almost caused a filament release, but it did send out this ionization wave, and it did send out a CME, a small one, that is not going to be Earth-facing because that sunspot is not Earth-facing at this time. But when you, you have a couple of different events, when you have a solar flare, you have that in 8.2 uh, minutes, guys, that photon energy strikes the Earth. That's fast because it's covering 93 million miles. And then a coronal mass ejection, guys, can take 24 hours to 36 hours, depending on the speed of it. So you've got two effects, and that ionization is what we uh, felt today. Again, these are signs that Solar Cycle 25 is strengthening. It's saying that the, a magnificent sunspot, new sunspot, AR 2786, is so big it could swallow Earth with barely a ripple. The dimensions of the spot make it easy, an easy target for safely filtered backyard telescopes. The sunspot is turning towards Earth and could soon become a source of geo-effective flares or Earth-effective. And here they're showing this leak after the solar flare, and it was uh, it was a plasma bomb, basically. And the magnetics of the sun kept most of it from hurling into space and pulled it back in, saying the, it erupted during the late hours of November 23rd, producing a C4-class solar flare, and that's what we saw in the graph. The explosion hurled a plume of plasma more than 350,000 kilometers across the sun. This was recorded again, they're calling it a splashdown. But I just wanted to update this, guys. We're going to be watching it, and I'm trying to get settled in where I can uh, do a fuller report. But we're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.